Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is basically just a quick update on uh, basically what has changed on the rifle. So obviously this is my competition setup. So first things first, we'll start at the back of the rifle and we'll move our way forward. So what has updated and what's changed? So obviously, as you can see, I've got the monopod system. Now this is obviously great for bench shooting, uh, also field shooting as well, because it's just a quick and simple way of adjusting the elevation of the rifle and also just giving me a steady and stable platform to shoot from. Uh, I've still got the uh, Sabre Tactical Adjustable Buttstock, uh, the Sabre Tactical Cheat Piece, as well as the Bag Rider. Now that is great in the field because you can just throw a bag down and uh, just make sure you get a stable platform. If there's somewhere where this little piece here, it's not a good, uh, it's not a good fit, you can obviously just use the Bag Rider there. So moving our way forward even more, uh, as before, the Element Helix 6 to 24 by 50 scope. Uh, which has also got the scope stickers, which I did in my last video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put like a little thing up here somewhere so you can click on that and see it. Still got my side shot mount. I do have a pod and that's uh, obviously just used for night vision shooting. That's the scope and that is now attached to the Sabre Tactical TRS rail, which is the top rail support. So at the back here, uh, next to this really nice sort of little gold inlay piece, You've got the Sabre Tactical logo. It's also got a 20 MOA tilt, but it's also got a spirit level fitted so you can make sure there's no cant for the rifle when you are shooting. Uh, a huge Picatinny rail all along the top so you can move your scope forward or back or if you really want to attach a few more toys, things like that. As well as along the sides here, you've got the M-lock slots if you wanted to add weights or anything like that. Like a lot of PRS shooters do add weights to make sure the rifle's balanced. And one thing you won't be able to see, which is right here at the front, there is actually a little barrel clamp that comes with the TRS rail. And what that does, it actually holds the barrel in place so you don't get any sort of uh, movement from the barrel. Uh, I mean, obviously you can get like a barrel, like harmonic tuner, um, but this does work just fine for the sub 12 rifle. And then following down from that under here, as you can see, I've got the version two of the Arca Swiss rail. So full Arca rail here, which I can use on my tripod, which is currently holding the camera. Uh, but that will fit on my tripod. I'll put a little photo in so you can see what that uh, looks like. And then right at the front here, you've got a little bit more of a Picatinny rail to obviously mount your bipod. So yeah, that's pretty much everything with the gun. However, I have got some additional things that I will mention in some later videos. Uh, one thing for now is the Donny FL Tanto. I was using the standard FX Impact uh, silencer, but you know, as soon as I tried the Donny FL, I was like, I had to get it. Uh, it was so much more quiet uh, and I don't even notice any accuracy difference. If I take the silencer off and put the gun away in the case and then put the silencer back on, it doesn't actually interfere with any of the accuracy. So maybe that's because of the uh, barrel tensioner here or whether that's because of the silencer, I'm not quite sure. But this is my competition setup. This is what I will be shooting when I go to the competitions coming up this year. Uh, I cannot wait. There is one actually coming up in a few weeks. I'm not saying where and when because I don't want the pressure on me of uh, having to actually perform. It's been a while since I've actually been out with the gun. So yeah, um, very much looking forward to that, but hopefully I'll do it justice and uh, get better than a third place, which is still good. But obviously uh, I want to go for that win. I will be shooting the Pro Hunter 10.5 slugs, providing the competition allows that. If not, I have had some good work with the JSB Exacts. I think they're the heavies, the 10.34 grains. So that is what is happening and that is what has been updated on the rifle. I obviously will let you guys know what happens at the competitions. I'm even going to try and film some this year to make sure I can actually show you what it's like. If you guys haven't been to a competition, like a long range bench competition or a field target competition, I will obviously take them videos and uh, walk you guys through what happens on a normal competition day. So the only other thing and I almost forgot actually, this uh, this turned up quite a lot later than all the other things. So a lot of these, yeah, some were sort of Christmas presents as, as you could say. Uh, some I actually just got myself. Um, but this one actually turned up quite late. I only did a post about it on my Instagram a few days ago. Um, but that is the Ergo Air Deluxe Grip. Now this thing is phenomenal to hold. It is so comfortable, very ergonomic as the name states but it's a lot wider than the actual FX one. So I'll put a little photo up for you guys to see. But because it's a lot wider, it actually fills the palm of your hand a little bit more. And I do have quite big hands um, and it just feels so much more comfy to hold. And uh, just doing some shooting on uh, in the garden when it wasn't actually raining for once, um, this thing, it just makes it so much more comfortable to hold. It's just, it, 
I just cannot wait to get to some competitions and actually get this thing used. So this is my update video. If you haven't already seen the first part of this video, I'll put a little link up here or a link in the description for you guys to go and watch that. Um, but yeah, this was just a very, very quick update video on what has changed on the rifle. Obviously what I will do is once I actually get out into the field and actually get a chance to use all of this stuff properly, I will do a full big update video as well as hopefully some competition footage or even some field footage of me out um, doing a bit of pest control. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I actually upload a video. I know it's been a while since my last upload. It's just obviously been crazy because of Christmas and things like that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Take care. Peace.